Well, welcome to another Manic Monday. Lovely to have you with us again uh, today as we think of preparing ourselves for the Manic Week that lies ahead. On the 20th of April this year, a man called Mankaya Nkedi went home to be with his Lord. Now, I don't know if any of you know who Mankaya is. Let me tell you a little bit about why his life is of significance for us. Back in 1955, Jim Elliott, Nate Saint and three other missionaries decided that they wanted to share the good news of Jesus Christ with the tribal people of Ecuador. And so they flew over some of these tribes repeatedly, dropping down provisions for them and different goods. And then in January 1956, Jim Elliott, Nate Saint and three other missionaries decided to set up their camp not that terribly far from the Oka tribe. The next thing that people heard was that the lives of these five missionaries had been cruelly taken by a group of hunters from that tribe. But what was discovered in Jim Elliot's tent was a diary and whenever they opened its pages they found these words that have become a very famous quote for many today. He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. And those remarkable words, words that certainly were played out in Jim Elliot's life as he gave what he could not keep, even his own life, in order that others may gain what they could not lose. To share Jesus Christ with others, that they too may come to faith. Not that terribly long after the death of their husbands, we discover that Jim Elliot's wife, Elizabeth, and Nate Saint's wife, Rachel, decided that they would head back to the Oka tribe in Ecuador. And so they set up camp and brought with them their young children. And they lived amongst them for two years, learned their language, translated the Bible into their language, and shared Jesus Christ. And one of those who came to faith was Minkaya Nkedi. And what was particularly remarkable about Minkaya Nkedi was that he was one of the small group of men who went out to kill those five missionaries. Indeed, Minkaya's spears put to an end the life of Nate Saint and of one of the other missionaries. And yet, God wondrously saved him. Afterwards, Minkaya would talk about it and he would tell about the, the darkness that was in his heart, the hardness that he felt towards these men. But God changed all of that. And in time, Minkaya became one of the elders in his tribe, and he shared Jesus Christ with many. And over the years, they saw many of those Orkan Indians coming to faith in Christ. You see, initially, those men meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And that reminds me of Joseph in the Bible. The Bible tells us about him and his brothers, about how Joseph was the favoured son who received the coat of many colours, who, who got to stay home whilst his brothers had to go out and work. And the Bible told, also tells us about that terrible day whenever his brothers sold him into slavery in Egypt. But it also reminds us of how God's hand was upon him and eventually how he was made to be prime minister over Egypt. And he stored up enough crops during the good years that when the years of famine came, that he wasn't only able to feed the people of one nation, Egypt, but he was also able to feed the people of Israel. And through this, through the work of his servant Joseph, God saved his people. And eventually those brothers came in before Joseph, and not one word of bitterness was in Joseph's lips. Instead, he said to them, You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And you see, if you're a Christian, Romans 8 reminds us that all things work together for good to them who love God, to the called according to his purpose. All things work for good. And even today, if you're not a Christian, perhaps God is using this, this time of lockdown, this time of the coronavirus, to make you stop in your tracks, to make you consider your soul, to make you realise that you need 
Jesus Christ. So that God would use a time of great uncertainty, a time of, uh, of sadness and sorrow and death, that he would use such a time in order to speak to your heart and your soul and draw you to himself. You see, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose.